Hello everybody, welcome to Being Civil. In this video, we'll do an example of beam analysis in Stratpo. This is our beam. We'll analyze this beam and determine the support reactions, the maximum shear force and bending moment values, and also how the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram look like. We'll also learn how to get the values of shear force and bending moment at any intermediate point of the beam. So let's start with the modeling. Open Stratpro and click on new project. Give a project name. Select space or plane as you wish. And in our case, the length unit is, is meter and the force unit is kilonewton. So select these two and click on next and finish. This default grid will open. Just close this window and you have to first create the first node. Let us create at 00. zero. Select this and write down 0 and select the other cell. The first node will be created. Now we have to use translation repeat to create all the beams. Select the node cursor and select this node. Go to translational repeat. In our case, we have to repeat this in x direction. So select x. The number of steps will be 3. Spacing first. Beam is 4 meter length. So 4, then 5, and then 6. Click on link steps and click on OK. So you see the beams are created. To see the nodes, just press Shift plus K. Now we have to create the supports. Go to General and then Support. You see, we have one fixed support, two pinned support, and one is roller support. So create this support. Click on Create the fixed support. Click on Add. Again, create the pinned support. Add. Create. For the roller support, you have to use this fixed button. In roller support, there is only FY, so we have to release all the other reactions, which is FX, FZ, MX, MY, and NZ, and click on Add. Click the support to which is fixed support, use cursor to assign, and click on Assign. Select this node. This support, these two nodes, and the roller support is this one. So we have created the support. Let us give a property to all the beams go to general and property i am giving a steel property you can also give a concrete property to your beam go to indian s shape let us give uh, ismb 200 click on add and assign to view now we have to create the loads go to loads and definitions click on load case details and click on add the first load case one click on add close select this load case one and click on add first you have to keep the self weight which is always in negative y direction so y and minus one and click on add now we have to give this concentrated moment instead the clockwise moments are negative so you have to give the minus 10 go to member load and concentrated moment in the value p give minus it is at a distance of 2 meter from the start node so write down 2 at d1 and you see in our case the moment is about z direction means uh, the z axis is towards us and the moment is about this z axis so we have to select this gz which is global z and click on add so now this uniform force click on this uniform force minus 15 minus because it is downward as it is throughout the beam so you don't need to uh, put these values select gy and click on add now the concentrated force which is minus 30 kN at a distance of 2 meter from the start node so it is right down to here gy click on add now select this self weight it will be assigned to view this moment use cursor to assign this beam this force this beam and this force this beam. go to modeling and turn on this load value you see that you uh, can't see the moments it because the scale problem go to these symbols and levels go to scales select this checkbox apply immediately and change the scale for moments so this is point moment increase it Click on analysis print here, print option, no print, click on add. And from this analysis tab, run analysis. So analysis done, click on go to post processing mode and click on done. 
in our case there is only one load case and it is selected to click on ok it is the deflection press the control and use your scroll wheel you can see the deflected shape just turn it off this mz increase the scale by the scroll wheel and control this is moment and this is the shear fy to see the value of this shear force and bending moment you have to go to this results view value the beam results the bending moment user need the end moment maximum moment and the midpoint and the shear we generally need end and maximum click on annotated this is the bending moment values and this is the shear force values uh, to see the reactions go to node and reactions to get bending moment and shear force value of each beam go to beam and graphs select the individual beams you can get the shear force and bending moment diagram to know the shear force and bending moment diagram at any intermediate just double click on the beam go to shear and bending uh, you can use this slide to get different position of the beam and also write down the distance here and select the different load cases bending Z, bending Y, shear Z, shear Y as you wish to get the intermediate values. I hope you will like this video. Give it a thumbs up, share with your friends. See you in the next video.